Hi, my name is Reen Owens. I am with Wow Moment of Worship and welcome to this Wow Moment video. I do have a word of encouragement for you and the Lord says, do not fear when the heat comes. He woke me up the day before yesterday and immediately led me to the scripture. It's out of Jeremiah 17, 7 through 8. And it says, but blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. This scripture has been so encouraging to me and just very relevant to my life recently. The Lord actually led me to the scripture back in the fall. And when I read it then, I don't remember the part about it does not fear when the heat comes. And then whenever he led me to it again the day before yesterday, that part just really flashed out at me. And I was just like, wow, yeah, this has been very relevant to my life. Um, the last video that I made for y'all, I told you guys about how this past year I was just thrown into one of the biggest fires of my life. And how the Lord was with me leading and guiding and directing my steps as we fought this fire together and he um, it led me to um, the story about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and how in that story you can find it in Daniel chapter 3 how in that story the king uh, Nebuchadnezzar had made this false god and um, image and was commanded everybody in the kingdom to bow down and worship this God, but Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were absolutely refusing to do so. And so they were brought forth in front of the king, and the king was commanding him to worship, and if they didn't, he was going to throw them into the fire. And they were basically like, well, you know, if that's what you want to do, go ahead, but we know that our God will deliver us. And they still refused to bow down. And so the king was so angry that he had the fire um, heated up seven times hotter than it was before, had them bound up. And these mighty men of valor, it says, threw them into the fire. And the fire was so hot that it completely burned up the men that threw them in. And after they were thrown in, the king looked and he, he saw that there were four people walking around in the fire and he was like wait a second didn't we throw just three men into the fire and they were bound up how is there four and he says the fourth one it actually looks like the son of god and he was basically just so blown away that he called forth Shad shadrach meshach and abednego it's kind of a tongue twister he called him forth out of the fire and it caused him to believe in the Most High God and to bless the Most High God. And so God was just showing me how that even when the enemy comes at you and it might be the enemy that has thrown you in the fire or you, you know, whatever trial or tribulation that you might find yourself in, whether it's by your own doing, if you trust and believe God, he can use that to bring glory to him. He can use it through your testimony to cause people to believe and glorify him. And also he will use it not only for his advantage, but he will use it for your advantage. See, Shadrach, Meshach, Meshach and Abednego, they had been bound when they went into the fire. And while they were in there, God used the fire to burn off everything that had bound, that was binding them. And he did not allow them to be burned though. And so it's the same thing with us spiritually. When we are thrown into a fire, it doesn't matter if it's the enemy that throws us in or, or whatever. It, when we trust in him, he will use that to burn off all the stuff. Um, he was speaking to me yesterday about controlled burns. And I had done a little bit of training with wildland uh, firefighting. And one of the things that um, wildland firefighters do with the Forestry Service to help control um, catastrophic wildfires from happening is what's called a controlled burn. 
And the Lord was telling me that the fire that I had been thrown into because I had trusted him and allowed him basically through my trust and faith and belief in him to be there with me through it, um, that instead of it turning into a catastrophic wildfire, it was a controlled burn and he was controlling what was going on inside of there. I um, looked up some things um, to share with you about controlled burns, about why they do controlled burns. And I knew through my training that it, was, it could be very beneficial. It could help. Um, one of the big things that it helps with is, you know, basically preventing catastrophic wildfires. And so what the purpose of it is, is to burn off overgrowth of all the extra vegetation and to help reduce the fuel load that would keep those wildfires from getting out of hand. And so that's basically like what God will do in these fires um, in your life, these trials, that he will use it to burn off all that extra junk that just doesn't need to be there and it says um, many trees can actually depend on fire to release their seed and reproduce and it also says that it can help control tree disease and also the ash from the fire can actually even be used to bring nutrients into the soil and the seed and there was a point in time when Man, I felt like I was just sitting a big sitting in a big ash heap for a while there and but the Bible says that God brings beauty from ashes and that is a promise that when the ashes of mourning come that he will bring beauty from ashes and the oil of joy for mourning and that is a promise. And so um Another scripture that he had given me, given me about whenever um, you are going through things and it seems like the enemy has just got you down and um, the enemy might, might even think that, you know, he's had the last say, but in actuality, God has the last say because the enemy is not in control. He might think he is sometimes, but he is not. And it comes through um, Micah, out of Micah chapter 4. And I'm going to be reading out of the message version. And it says, God will give you new life again. He'll redeem you from your enemies. But for right now, they're ganged up against you. Many godless people saying, kick her when she's down. Violate her. We want to see Zion grovel in the dirt. These blasphemers have no idea, though, what God is thinking and doing in this. They don't know that this is the making of God's people and that they are wheat being thrashed and gold being refined. How does gold get refined? It is put in the fire and when it is put in the fire, it purifies it. And so that is what God will do with you when you go through these things. If you allow him to, he will use it to purify you. To, he will use it to make you stronger. And it's like God is saying that you know what, Satan, you may have thought that you have destroyed my be my people, but instead I have prepared them in this. And so I just want you to be encouraged today. You know, when I was initially thrown into the fire, the heat was so hot. It was just bearing down on me. I was under so much pressure from it. I didn't even realize um, exactly what was going on, but I could feel the pressure of, of the heat. And during that time, the Lord had actually led me to leave my job in the fire department. And I was just like, yes, this is my perfect opportunity because I'm going to move to Wyoming and I'm going to go up there and run and hide in the mountains where it's cold. I just knew that... I wanted to go where it was cold, but the Lord would not allow me to go. And I knew that even though I didn't understand that I had to trust in him and I had to be obedient. See, I knew who God was. I knew that he was faithful and I knew that he had a purpose and a plan for my life because he had spoken it over, over me and the word of God says so. And I know that the word of God is true. And so I just said, okay, God. I don't understand, but I trust you, and so I will stay. And when you trust in God, it doesn't matter what you're going through. It says, blessed 
is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. They will be like a tree planted by the water, who sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. And it has no worries in the year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. God wants us to bear fruit. He wants us to be fruitful. And so I just want you to be encouraged and know that when you trust in him, he won't allow the heat to burn you. It might get hot, but it won't burn you. Your leaves will stay green. And so be encouraged today and know that God loves you and he's going to he has your back. He'll see you through whatever it is that you go through. And I hope you have a blessed day.